the topic is about explainable artificial intelligence in generative design for construction. This is the outline of uh, this study. Uh, we are going to um, get to know some keywords, for example, uh, artificial intelligence and generative design in construction, explainable artificial intelligence, and explainable generative AI design in construction. Um, all of us know about the application of AI um, in different fields, and specifically in construction sector. Um, as during the last uh, days, uh, we got to know it more. Uh, however, we are facing uh, some challenges here, which is the black box and opaque nature of uh, such uh, algorithms, these AI models. Um, it means complex AI algorithms often uh, lack transparency, leading to difficulty in um, understanding and uh, interpreting AI model outputs because it can bring along concerns uh, regarding bias, fairness, trust, um, and reliability. But the good news is that uh, we've got the solution, and exactly at this stage, the explainable AI uh, comes into play. Uh, we can apply explainable AI methods to uh, make uh, these kind of algorithms uh, transparent and interpretable. Um, this study, um, has been conducted on the application of um, explainable AI to generative design models and algorithms. Uh, this is mainly because the generative design uh, plays a crucial role in the design world. There is a limited adoption of uh, generative AI in construction industries due to the lack of explainability. Um, I mean when designers uh, want to justify why cer certain changes uh, have been done, uh, they cannot do so uh, as they don't have the, the tools uh, to justify it. According to Gerling, uh, the diminished uh, explainability uh, of AI models can result in um, inability um, to elucidate um, algorithms, which means uh, we cannot contest, uh, evaluate, or um, derive knowledge from them. Therefore, a progression in different aspects cannot happen effectively. Um, this research aims to highlight and find uh, the synergy that exists between um, explainable AI and generative design. Um, I mean, the key point uh, is to increase the um, scope of the designer ability to manipulate the de uh, design rules. Uh, in so doing, the uh, objective as a first step is uh, systematically review uh, the application of explainable AI in generative design. And we can name uh, these objectives, uh, objectives as well, Ex uh, explore uh, explainable AI for uh, generative design in construction, elucidate explainable AI mechanisms for generative design, and examine explainable AI influence on generative design framework. Uh, in terms of uh, research methodology, um, as there's a notable lack of uh, comprehensive uh, systematic review on generative AI in construction in sector, we aim to do a um, systematic literature review on generative design um, and explainable AI to develop explainable generative AI design taxonomy. Um, and you can see keyboards um, used to conduct this research uh, on um, Escopos mainly. Um, the generative design uh, leverages uh, the power of artificial intelligence and optimization techniques to iteratively create, evaluate, refine designs, often resulting in innovative and efficient uh, solutions that humans uh, may not have considered before. Um, generative AI design uh, has revolutionized the design process and management of uh, related data. It allows a systematic manipulation of element relationships. Um, so we can say the design quality, efficiency, and a stakeholder satisfaction can be enhanced by leveraging these methods. Uh, what I mean is that, as we can see in this uh, chart, um, the outcome of these models is not the final steps. 
uh, is still the designer has this opportunity to judge uh, and modify the rule algorithm, the source code, to um, have the different results. And uh, here are some of my uh, previous projects that uh, some parts of them um, were done through generative design algorithms. As another, uh, as another example, I can um, mention uh, this, um, this project. Um, actually, it is about the life cycle assessment through parametric en uh, energy modeling. Uh, this project um, has been conducted for optimization of the cost of operational and embodied energy. Um, and the variables uh, was uh, different materials and the size of windows. Um, having said that, it is uh, still um, kind of vague why and how this genetic algorithm uh, in this project provide uh, these outputs as the optimum ones. Um, as a first step to make generative design algorithms explainable, we needed to um, explore um, different types of uh, such algorithms. And we came up with this uh, table, thanks to my friend, the other author of uh, this paper, Hanyu Kuchaki. Um, and we can see these methods uh, are used to produce data to use um, within these uh, generative design systems to generate generative design, these kind of generative AI models. Explainable AI is a um, collection of methodologies uh, designed to enable human users uh, to understand and uh, trust the outcomes of artificial intelligence systems. And uh, we can see in this figure um, three different a uh, stages that we have to go through when we want to select the explainable AI methods. Uh, for example, here the anti hoc uh, methods built into the model during the development. However, the post hoc uh, methods apply after model development to explain decisions. Um, the local uh, explanations focus on individual predictions in comparison with uh, global um, explanations that uh, provide um, understanding of overall model behavior. Also, uh, if we consider the data-based uh, classification, the surrogate uh, methods uh, will work separately from model in comparison with visualization, which visualize the model. Uh, in terms of definitions, um, there is not consensus, and uh, there are various definitions uh, for key concepts related to explainable AI. Um, for example, some of these key concepts are um, understandability, comprehensibility, interpretability, transparency, and um, explainability. Um, and in this chart, we can see um, the different general types of explanations and uh, output formats, the different types of output formats is here. The last but not the least, uh, we produced uh, this taxonomy for explainable generative AI design. Um, at the first step, we categorize uh, the AI models that can be outputs of generative uh, algorithms um, based on their tran transparency. And obviously, for opaque models, we have to apply the post hoc uh, explainability. And uh, here are uh, various approaches can be selected uh, for implementing explainable AI solutions to generative design uh, algorithms, depending on model characteristics and computational process. Um, in the summary, as I mentioned, uh, the aim is um, highlight the connection between uh, these two branches, the computer science and design. Uh, so, um, we developed the taxonomy that we just saw uh, for explainable generative AI design. And uh, future directions could be um, developing evaluation framework for explainable AI uh, construction, uh, the combination of um, complex and simple uh, models and methods, uh, which are hybrid approaches, refining explainable AI techniques for construction specific develop, uh, deployment. 
Um, thank you for your attention. Um, I want to thank my supervisor, Dr. Pablo Rodriguez, Marcelo Rodriguez, uh, for uh, his support. And also, uh, this is the uh, QR code of my LinkedIn. Um, that would be my pleasure to be in touch with you. Thank you.